Hey, I'm a geophysicist, and uh, I guess I'll talk about a little bit about my job and why I like it. And um, one of the biggest things is this that I get to spend a lot of time in places that uh, we'll rarely ever see people ever again, maybe perhaps, and maybe I've only seen a few people at all uh, ever, just because they're so remote and uh, such harsh environments. It was actually when I was still a student. It was just a one weekend job. Um, we drove out to Lillooet from Vancouver and we flew out Saturday morning. And it was just like a full full day uh, in some of the biggest mountains in Vancouver, in, in British Columbia, uh, like high, high altitude. And we were prospecting, which is really fun. It's just hiking around, like looking for gold. That was exactly what I was doing. And, uh, it was just amazing, like, I thought, at the time I thought, oh, I'm not going to bring my camera, it's only two days, I've seen mountains before, and I really kicked myself for not bringing a camera, because it was just amazing weather, pristine mountains, like ice fields, and perfect alpine lakes, and yeah, it was a really good job, and I've had a few jobs like that over over the last five or six years, and, uh, and hopefully there'll be many more. So the things we, we look for in this industry, and um, is is basically like I would I would ask someone you know what do you do in your spare time what do you enjoy um, I would say um, what are your what are your interests in school academic interests and uh, and I would say maybe maybe what's your favorite what's your favorite thing about just the outdoors or what's your favorite thing about um, about science. And uh, and we're looking for people. I'm, I don't know. I uh, I've been leading crews out into the field, and we always need people to uh, to help us out. So, yeah. how, so how does somebody find uh, an opportunity like this to help out a crew like yours? Yeah, uh, a lot of it is is word of mouth. Maybe a friend of a friend might let you know about these opportunities. Um, there's there's a couple. Couple websites, kind of mining oriented, to help workers connect to employers, um, and you can you can search for those online. They'll come up. And and how how what is the age range that someone who you'd even consider being part of this trip? Um, I'd say probably seventeen and up. Um, yeah, I've, you you do you do need a bit of um, maturity, just just to take. So a person can take care of themselves, like do their own laundry or, or cook meals for themselves if they have to, or um, or just be physically strong enough to, to do some of the tasks. So. Yeah, there's a couple of challenges you you find when you go on these kind of gigs. Oh, uh, there's always unexpected things that are thrown at you. Like um, like I'm I'm from BC and I, so I, I feel like I know like the terrain and the climate and the mountains. But you you go to a new place that you haven't been to before, and there's there's always something new. Uh, like on that last job, uh, the night before we flew in, we were looking at the maps again, and we realized that the traverse I was going to take uh, was half of it was on an ice field, which you can't really prospect on because there's no rocks. And it's like, oh, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I don't I didn't have any of my uh, like mountaineering alpine tools. Just had regular boots and a like a hammer for uh, breaking rocks and so I head out there and uh, snow up to your waist for the first little bit and then pure ice and I had to cut steps into the ice just to make it across some of the slopes and then I broke out onto uh, like loose rocky slopes and uh, it was just perfect like hiking uh, sheer mountain above and a bit of a bench and then another sheer slope and just amazing everything worked out great so so where, where did this sense of adventure start for you? Um, I guess at a very early age, my whole family did a lot of camping and hiking. And maybe maybe I wasn't super keen on it in the beginning, uh, just being the youngest person and having <laughs> a lot of trouble keeping up with everybody else. But uh, as I got older and stronger and uh, doing a few more trips, I found that the harder it was, uh, the more, almost the more enjoyable I found it, the uh, sort of.